This is all that's left of one home that was so damaged it had to be torn down after historic floods ravaged the Mississippi town of Crosby two months ago. They're getting no assistance from FEMA, little help from the state. One woman who lost everything is crying out for help. And if anybody have a heart, have a heart for us That's true. because we need it. The flood damaged 81 homes in the town, but Crosby didn't qualify for FEMA assistance. And Governor Phil Bryant set aside only $250,000 to help homeowners rebuild. $250,000? Yeah. That's gonna not, it's not going to be enough, but it'll, it'll, it'll be a help. Because a lot of people, you know, stand in the houses that's not, don't have walls. You know, they don't have nowhere to go. Julia Brown's family is one of 24 who lived in the Crosby Shelter's apartments until the floodwater sent them fleeing to higher ground. Brown is in such dire straits, she said she's considering sleeping in her own car. You got family. But sometimes it seems like, you know, you, you by yourself. To me, I'm by myself. With debris piling up on streets across the community, frustrated residents say it's anyone's guess how soon they'll be able to start trying to put their lives back together. Reported in Crosby, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.